How do you convert a number from decimal to binary? Look at this number here. It is not written in binary. Otherwise, it would be written with only zeros and one. But how do you get this subnet mask here from this to binary? Let's understand that very quickly. We're going to convert that number from decimal to binary, and it is a simple process. Plenty of people think that subnetting is very, very hard because it involves a lot of mathematics, but it is a simple process. You just need to understand it. So to convert this number to binary, all you need to understand is that you're going to convert each one of these numbers one at a time. The number zero, here's how you convert that. Uh, we're going to start with first this number, 255. Understand, uh, remember that the binary numbers, they are written with eight digits. And that is why each one of those numbers, even if they are in decimal, we call them an octet. So if they are going to have eight digits in the, in the binary number, we need to have a place to put all eight digits. That's why here I have eight little boxes. The first one is for the first digit second for the second, and so on and so forth. Whatever number you need to write, first thing you need to do is to have eight little squares. Down below, you put a digit, and you need to start with the digit one in the first box. And the next digit is going to be twice as much. This is very important. That's a cheat, a cheat sheet. This is not a rule or anything like that. It's just my cheat sheet to easily convert any number I want from decimal to binary. So first thing I do is I put eight little box up on top to put my binary conversion or the binary equivalent of my number. And down below, I put the process that I'm going to follow to remember and to understand how I'm going to come up with that binary number. Think about this number here, 255. Let's convert that real quickly. First thing I do, I put number one. I start with number one. In the next number, I'm going to double it. And I'm going to continue to double until I have no more place to put numbers. So next is two. If I want to double two, it's four. Next is eight, and I double eight to 16. I double 16 to 32. I double six, uh, 32 to 64, and 64 to 128. Then I reach the eight little boxes. So I can't put any more because I know I'm going to have only eight digits in my binary number. So what, what else do I do here? I say, okay, what they want me to do here is to write 255 in binary. Well, I'm going to put a number for each one of these numbers here. I'm going to first add as many digits as I can to find one uh, to find 255. So first thing I do is that I bring up a calculator. Eventually, you won't need to bring up a calculator to do that because you will uh, be so proficient at that that you can understand that very quickly. When I bring up my calculator here, what I do first, I'm going to add the bigger numbers, right? I want you to see the calculator, so I'm going to drag it, right? So what are the big numbers that I have? Number one is 128, right? I already know the answer, but I'm showing you the process. Then 64. Then 32. Understand that I want to add enough numbers to have 255, okay? So until I have 255, I'm not going to stop. And every time I add a digit, I'm going to add number one for it. Okay? And so, so you can continue to see the calculator. I'm going to put the ones at the end. So I added 32. In that, I'm still at 224. I'm not 255 yet. Then I'm going to add 16. I'm still at 240 and not at 255 yet. I added 8. I still need some more. I add 4. Almost there. I add 2. And I see that I only have one more left. That is 1. Then I add 1, I'm at 255. You see, exactly the number that I needed. So what I'm going to do now is every place where I used a number to add in my addition so that I can get to 255, I'm going to represent that number by 1. There is a term for that in the binary number system. Whenever a, a digit is 1, they say this bit is on. Every digit in the binary number system is called a bit. That's the smallest unit of the computing system. In the computing world, the smallest uh, amount is one bit. So if you have 
a piece of data, such as a picture, it has a size. The smallest it can be is one bit. So those it digits here, we call them it bits. So to convert any number from decimal to binary, all you need to do is to follow this process here. Start with one and continue to double until you reach it times, right? So first time is one, second time you double it to two, third time to four, and you continue until you get the it time, which is 128. And so if they say, okay, write for me uh, 129, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to use 128 for sure, and then I'm going to use one for sure. And I do that. And everywhere else that I didn't use a number, I put a zero. That means the bit is off. When you have a one, the bit is on. When you have a zero, the bit is off. So if I do that, right? One, zero, 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 one, that is equal to 129. Very simple, right? Just like I did here, I turn all bits on and that give me 255. Let's say, they say, okay, now I want you to write number four. Simple, all I need to do, turn the bit on here and I can turn all other bits off. Converting from decimal to binary and from binary to decimal is that simple. Okay, so this number right here in binary is the number four. If they say, okay, write number one, very simple. That would be one and everything else is zero. You see? Now if they say write number zero, well, there's no number zero. So everything's going to be zero. And so here we have number 255. I'm going to put decimal here, 255, right? So that's all you need to know about binary conversion. But remember that we're not just learning binary conversion to be geniuses at binary conversion. We're doing that so that we can fully understand the subnet mask. But how does that help us understand the subnet mask? That's the question.